have such different parenting styles, it's crazy. It's getting in the way of our parenting. It's getting in the way of our marriage. It's getting in the way of our life. I'm Robertson Batran Grossman. I am a marriage advisor and coach. I help women be happy in their marriage. And one of the most common issues is parenting and not being on the same page with our approach to parenting. So here is something that I had to learn that freed me up many, many, many years ago. I went to a parenting class by Shlomit Aqua and she was explaining how we have this belief that in order to be good parents, we both have to be on the same page and in the same parenting style. And it's actually not true. She gave an example of how when you're in school, you have your regular teacher and then you have the substitute teacher and somehow everybody knows that they could get away with certain things with the substitute teacher. And when the principal comes in and teaches, everybody knows what they can't get away with. Basically her point was that children are geniuses. They're capable of understanding the difference between Ima and Abba. When we free ourselves from having to force the other person to see our way and to make things the way that we do things because this is how children grow, then we complicate the system so badly that it just goes haywire. Just know you're the mother and he's the father and that's all you need. Every child needs to be able to see the difference between Ima and Abba. Every child is capable of seeing the difference between Ima and Abba. And every child can understand that even though I don't agree with a certain rule, I still have to keep it because I respect the person who made that rule. And for you to teach that to your children is way more valuable than if you were to try and force your way into faking it. All you need to do is just be you and respect him for being him. Don't worry about it. Your kids will know. They'll know that when Ima's home, we don't do certain things. When Abba's home, we don't do certain things. It also frees you to say, we don't do this because Abba said so. You respecting Abba and his will is way more educational than you having to fake it that this is your, that you're lined up with Abba. And because he said that, then you say this too. But if you don't believe in it, then you just be honest and say, I don't really understand, but because Abba said so, we're going to keep this rule. There's a ton more I could say about parenting. Some of the women I work with end up working on their marriage and on their parenting together because they are so intertwined. And to be honest, when you work on one, the other one untangles itself because they are so connected. Feel free to reach out. I'm at Connected For Real and ConnectedForReal.com. I'm on Facebook, on Instagram, and I'm really here for you. Please reach out and tell me how you're doing. Tell me how I can help you.